Scott Norton with Black Rifle Training Group with another session of training. We're at the TAC Farm here in Rutherford County, North Carolina. Today we're going to take a look at a, a rising trend that we're seeing in the United States. Have you ever considered how you would defend yourself and your family if you were within your car and you were approached by a carjacker or a rider? That's what we're going to cover today. Not in every carjacking or riding situation do we at Black Rifle say that a firearm is the key to getting out of the situation. Uh, we say your number one goal is to escape the scene. So if you need to use it, use your vehicle to try to escape, that's what we would uh, uh, recommend that you try to do. But let's just say that you can't, you're blocked in, and you have to defend yourself. There's a few things whenever you're in your car, you are very vulnerable. So let's talk about, first of all, your setup. If you're a concealed carry and you carry everywhere that you go, where do you carry on your body? Have you ever considered, have you ever thought about how would I draw my firearm if I needed to from within the vehicle? The, today, the most popular way to do it, of course, is appendix carry. And so I have an appendix carry here on this side and then an extra mag too as well. So uh, what you have to ask yourself is, can I gain access to my firearm if I need to in an emergency situation? Then, if I need to do a reload, can I access my reload? Now there's one thing that we're taking out of the picture that needs to be in there, and that's your seatbelt. I wish I could say I came up with this trick, but I did not. But the first thing that you have to do is to clear all obstacles. Now, we don't recommend that you always take your seatbelt off, and we certainly don't recommend that you drive with your seatbelt off. But one of the ways that you can do this is what's called an emergency release. Now, the emergency release is very simple. Normally, we would take our hand, whether you're a passenger or a driver, we would come over and release it. However, we're finding out that this hand is in the way it's, it's, it's uh, tangled up within the seat belt. And so one of the methods that we want to teach you today, and you need to practice this whenever you get a chance, is to reach in underneath the seat belt, grab and release the seat belt, and then your hand's free. It's much quicker, and then you have access to whatever firearms that you need. Secondly, what you're going to need to do is to identify the threat where it is in your vehicle. Let's just say, for instance, that it's on your left side. Keeping in mind that most people uh, ride with their windows up, uh, you are going to get some splash back. Uh, you are going to, it's going to, the sound's going to reverberate inside the vehicle. It's going to be very difficult. But what you need to do is to practice when you're in your vehicle doing the draw itself. Now, here you'll notice I, with my left hand, I clear my garment, whatever I'm wearing, then I establish a master grip, and then I orient myself to the threat. Um, we can't do it in this vehicle, we don't wish to hurt this vehicle, but you gotta keep in mind, I've got a barrier right here, so that my aim, and I'm not gonna be able to extend out fully on the target. So, what I say to folks is when you're out at the range, try some close in target practice. Can you hit your target? And this particular target's about 15 yards out. And can you hit it effectively? Then at that point in time, you're going to scan and try to locate any other threats and potentially try to escape the scene. That's your goal. Now, how that differs is, of course, if your threat's on your passenger side. Uh, you're at a scene, your vehicle's blocked, you can't escape in your vehicle. Do the emergency release with your seat belt, draw your firearm, but you'll notice here that you're not able to very comfortably get two hands. This is when you have to be able to fire one handed. Folks uh, say a lot to me do I need to learn how to shoot one handed? Oh, yeah, absolutely. And you need to be able to do it effectively. And you also need to be aware of your passenger and where everyone else is within the vehicle. At Black Rifle, we offer an advanced pistol and vehicle defense class where we not only cover all the aspects of shooting within the vehicle, shooting while outside the vehicle, um, but all the advanced techniques and then give you an opportunity to practice those yourself. So look at the link below, sign up for our vehicle defense class. We would love to have you. Black Rifle Training wants to thank Tim Henderson with Image 360 in Gastonia 
for the use of his vehicle today in our videos. See Tim today for your signs, banners, and vehicle wrap needs. Thanks, Tim.